Hey everybody, Guilty here. If you have been lurking around the channel recently, you've probably seen that Ninja Gaiden 2, the OG, is pretty playable on Xenia Canary. For those of you who do not know, Xenia is an Xbox 360 emulator, and it has come a long way. Ninja Gaiden 2 specifically has improved considerably. This was how NG2 looked maybe a few months or so ago. Now this is meme material for sure, but it's not why we're here today. I'm going to give you the rundown on how to play NG2 on PC. Emphasis on play. My specs are a Ryzen 5 3600 and an RTX 2070 Super. Not to say that's the benchmark because in some spots I felt like I was playing on the 360 again. But in my time play testing, as it were, I have only had one glaring game breaking issue, audio. But we'll get into that later. First, you'll need to download Xenia Canary. At the project's GitHub, you will find their latest release. Today, it's build 9Charlie74 Bravo 4 Charlie. Download it, and you'll have this, a nondescript blank window. At this point, you're pretty much done. You could play Ninja Gaiden 2 right now if you have the ISO, or, like in my case, all the files pulled straight from the disk, including the XEX, which you can also click and drag into the window. But what led to the requests for a tutorial was how I was able to play the DLC. To do that, you'll need two more things, Velocity and XEX Tool. Velocity is a self-described Xbox 360 file manager and explorer. With it, you can unpack DLC packages into their basic parts. I wish I had known about this sooner because thanks to Velocity, I can extract and import the last Ninja Gaiden models that have thus far eluded me, namely Shadow Walker Hayabusa. Very exciting. Anyway, you need Velocity to unpack the DLC for Xenia to read it. We also need Velocity to unpack the title update, which we can use to patch the original executable so the game actually knows to look for DLC. If you have the title update on the same console you pulled your NG2 files from, well, you're in luck. Transfer the title update to your PC and drag it into Velocity. The display name should read Ninja Gaiden 2 Title Update, and the displayed file should be an XEXP. Right-click it and extract it. We need the XEXP to patch our XEX, and for that, we turn to XEX tool. I'm not a big fan of command-based executables, so I go for the GUI every time if provided. In XEX tool, first select your NG2 XEX. In the second field, select your XEXP. Determine the save location and click patch. Here's where I screwed up the first time, and because it's so dumb, I want to save anyone else from doing the same thing. Once your XEX is patched, replace the original XEX with the patched version in the Ninja Gaiden 2 folder. The XEX will not launch in isolation. It must be in the same folder as all the other parts that make up the game. Makes sense, right? Well, it took me a while to figure that out because... I'm a big dumb asshole. Anyway, open the patched XEX in Xenia to test. If it launches, you're good. So far. Close out XEX tool and move back to Velocity for the DLC. Like the title update, drag your DLC files into Velocity. Select all and extract. Once you are finished, close Velocity. In your Windows Explorer, go to Documents and find the Xenia folder. In the folder, you should see Content. Under Content, you should see the game ID for NG2, 544307 Delta 5. If you haven't opened the game up yet, you might not see this folder. But in that folder, we need to make our own folder to house the extracted DLC packages, 000002. That's seven zeros and a two. Inside your main DLC folder, the 002, copy over your extracted DLC packages and put them into their own respective folders. Mission Mode, Fiend Hayabusa, Biometal Hayabusa, and Shadow Walker Hayabusa. Once that is accomplished, go back to Xenia and either open your XEX using Control o or drag your XEX into the window. Your XEX can be wherever. I'm keeping it close for the sake of simplicity, but when you open the game in Xenia, the emulator will always look in the Documents Xenia folder for saves and DLC. If you did everything correctly, NG2 should launch and you should be able to play with everything released for this game. I mentioned earlier I have encountered one big-ish issue with NG2 on Xenia, and it's audio. Sometimes, all the audio, music, effects, all of it, will just stop. The game will completely mute itself. I am not entirely sure why, but the fix for it is pretty simple. Just restart Xenia. Small price to pay, considering how awesome this is. 
Gratitude is due to the creators of the Xenia project, and my personal thanks goes to Diao Baqian for their help in getting me set up. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll try to help. Additionally, check the description for the relevant links you will need to play NG2. And that about wraps it up. I'll end with some NG2 gameplay, but I don't blame you for clicking out and doing all this for yourself. Like, subscribe, go outside. Yeah! <laughs> 